One day I was scrolling on YouTube and you will amazed to know that people were making millions with drop shipping. They were talking about Shopify and Facebook ads. But wait, I don't had a budget, though I already have hosting as hosting. With that idea in mind, I decided to give it a try. With hosting as hosting, I can host a limited website. If you're my long-term subscriber, you know I have a good experience with WordPress and WooCommerce. Though I was not completely convinced with a WP drop shipping idea. However, I still wanted to try WP dropshipping. Additionally, I'm gonna film my 10 days dropshipping experience with WordPress. Before I dive into my experience, I wanna tell you why I was skeptical about WordPress dropshipping in the first place. You see, many people believe that dropshipping is oversaturated and high competitive. Plus, using WordPress for this purpose might seem like a daunting task for beginners. So, I wanted to put it to the test and see if it's really worth all hype. But wait, if WordPress dropshipping is so imitating, are there any alternative? Absolutely yes. Before I dive into my this experiment, I explored other platforms like Shopify and Wix dropshipping. These platforms are often recommended for dropshipping because they provide ready-made solution and user-friendly interface. However, I still wanted to challenge myself and see if WordPress could offer a viable alternative. By the end of this video, you'll find out the steps I took, the challenges I faced and the solution I found along the way. Moreover, you'll have clear understanding why the WordPress dropshipping is an easy option for beginners. Alright, let's jump straight into my 10-day WordPress dropshipping experience. Setting up WordPress for dropshipping. First of all, I'm going to install WordPress in my hosting or hosting. In this purpose, I'm going to create a subdomain because people will land only on the product page. Next, I need to install a theme and plugins. I'm going to use Astra theme which is free theme. And these are the list of the WordPress plugins that I'm going to use. Next I'm going to configure a WooCommerce plugin. I'm going to add shipping method and payment gateway in my WooCommerce plugin. And I'm also going to create important pages for my WP drop shipping store. I'm going to spend next 3 days on product research and niche selection. And I'll be exploring trends with Google Trends and social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. In the social media platforms, I use these terms like TikTok made me buy it, Amazon finds, post with most likes and comments and share can be considered as a winning product. So finally I choose a niche and I found the product. Now I need to create a logo. To create a logo, I'll use Canva free account. In Canva, you can search for logo design. You'll find tons of different free templates that you can use to create your logo. So I've done with the niche selection, product research, and a logo design. Next, I need to find a supplier. In the day five, I finally found a supplier, which is Aspocket. On Aspocket, you will find thousands of dropshipping supplier that can ship the product all over the world. Aspocket is my long-term favorite dropshipping company. In my all dropshipping store, whether it's Shopify or WooCommerce, I always use Aspocket. So I had to choose the Aspocket for this experiment as well. The best part is I found the same product on Aspocket that I had decided as a winning product when I was searching on Instagram and TikTok. Before I show you my next day experience, I want to tell you all the links will be in the video description. There will be a WordPress tutorial and this amazing supplier link will be available in the video description. You can start your 14 day free trial of Aspocket. Anyways, in next two days, I'm going to customize the website design and I'm going to optimize the product page for conversion. If you want to know how to customize a WordPress website, I've already created a separate video. You will find that video link in the video description as well. To optimize the product page, I'm going to add the high quality photos, compelling description, additionally reviews and product video if possible. In final three days, I'm going to marketing and driving traffic on my store only using social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. I'm going to post four videos in next three days and hoping for positive results. Moreover, in these three days, I'm going to implement effective SEO strategy using blog post. With these blog posts, I can bring organic traffic into my store. And as you know, it may take time, like months. So I'll stick with Instagram and TikTok. After 10 days passed, I was so happy to see the result. I had received 20 orders in just three days of marketing. As I mentioned a while ago, I had implemented effective SEO strategies on my store. With that, I am hoping to see the organic traffic coming to my store. If you want to see that result, follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting the result there. In my experience, WordPress offers great flexibility and control over your store. Because there are so many plugins there that can help you to increase the functionality of your online store. And I believe that 80-90% to websites that are available over the internet 
are using WordPress. My recommendation is try out WordPress dropshipping at least once if you never use WordPress before and you don't know how to use it. Don't worry, there are so many beginners tutorials out there for WordPress. You can watch other people's video tutorial or you can watch mine. Uh, link will be in the video description. And of course, if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till then, I'll see you next time.